Hi, I'm Teresa Grant. I'm your realtor with Caldwell Banker Sky Ridge Realty, and I'm here at the property on to go ahead and give you a quick tour of what we have here um, on offer. So as you know, they already accepted an offer on the property this morning, but um, they would be open to a backup offer. So I'm going to go through the house and I'm going to show it to you as uh, carefully as I would if we were here in person. And then if you have any questions, feel free to get back with me on this. So without any further ado, let's go take a look. So I'm standing in the actual entryway of the home. And right now my back is to the double door entry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk forward as I pan, and then I'm going to go through the front door so you can see some of the touches out front as well. So back door is directly behind me. My back is touching it. So this is what you see as you come in the front door. You've got your dining there to the left. The fireplace and chimney is down the middle of uh, both rooms as a divider. Those are the stairs up and that is the main level bedroom. So before we go tour any of this, I'm just gonna come this way so that you can see it from now. I've got my back to one of the pillars so bedroom, entry, and back again. The floors are all upgraded, easy care. Um, it's not vinyl, it's definitely a laminate. We're gonna go this way though, because I remember I told you that they did some things to the house that you normally wouldn't do unless you plan to live in it full time as your own. So I wanted to show you some of these things. So out here in the front, what they did was they installed lights in all of the stairs. So as you're coming in from the parking area, which is up that way, you've got nice well-lit access also. They have a um, rain gutter system installed at the front of the house. The snow is melting. And there's also um, French drains here. And there. So let's go ahead and go back into the home and take a real good solid look around. As you come in the front door, you'll see that there's an open loft right up there overlooking the entry. We'll see more of that as we go through the home. I'm going to take you into the main level bedroom first. Now, I did go through and turn on a few of the lights in the home, but not all of them because I like you to see what you would be walking into on a normal day. So this main level bedroom has a double door entry Good size closet storage here. A little pop out area here that they have set up as, you know, a desk or a home office type of area. All the windows are upgraded, dual pane with screens, and most of the lighting in the house is the uh, recessed lighting. So this is the view from the main level bedroom. And in this bedroom, I believe this is going to be, hmm, I think that's a full. I think it's a full. Another thing that they did um, through the house is they installed um, uh, electric sockets, quite a few in thoughtful places. So like there's double electrical sockets to each side of the bed. They're in the walls. The only thing that I wish that they, that they had done in here was install the, uh, the sockets that would also allow you to you know, charge a device. So back here we are into the dining area with the kitchen beyond. So you have your formal dining and right behind me is um, the little breakfast nook. On the other side of that fireplace wall is the formal living room. There are several decks to this property. We'll be visiting those in a few moments. Over here in front of you is 
one of several thoughtfully done storage cubby spaces in the home. This one they're obviously using to store their beverages. Nice bottle of Dom Perignon. So from the dining area here, you can either go this way towards the formal living, you can go out on the deck, you can go in the kitchen, or you can go this way to um, the guest bath on this level. So let's go there first. One of the things that they did with this house that made it smart is that the bathrooms are all on sensor sensors. So I did not touch the light switch to come in here. All of the um, finishes are just beautifully done. The shower has both a rain head as well as a handheld. And these are the glass seamed showers. So very nicely done. So coming from this bath, we have the dining this way. You can go this way to the laundry or you can go this way to the bunk room. Let's do the bunk room first because you had questions about that. So here in the bunk room, you actually have the three bunks. You've got top and bottom on, with their own light switches. And hey, I do see at that bunk right there, and let me see if I can zoom in. They did put in the, uh, uh, the electrical that also will charge devices. So there you go. They did something good. So bunk, bunk, bunk. And then you wanted to know if there was more room. And I would say the answer is yes, because from the end of this bunk here, we'll go ahead and we'll line it up. Let's see what we have here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, before getting to the window. So I think you could possibly put in another bunk or maybe even a trundle style right here so that maybe a fold out sofa, good possibilities. And the storage, the closet for this one is right here. And it's probably the smallest closet in the whole house. Okay, moving along this way. The bathroom we looked at is to the right. Dining is that way. We're going to go this way to the laundry. Good clean laundry room. There's the electrical service panel there. Washer, dryer, and laundry sink with a small wee bit of storage back behind the door. All right, so let's come through this way and let's take a look at the kitchen. The kitchen has been opened up quite a bit. And what you have is you have your little breakfast nook there and then you have this open cook space here. So let's take a look at that small step up beautiful appliances very well done in terms of the layout and the storage so underneath the gas GE cooktop you have plenty of storage and by the way this has been set up so that it's a downdraft exhaust for cooking and then you have your side-by-side -side stainless and tons of of storage as well as your microwave and your inset oven. Over here you have a nice little nook. We'll take a look here at the pantry. So quite a bit of storage just on this side of the kitchen. And then of course you've got all of your under counter storage as well. And I just wanted to, to give you a look here from this direction. 
so that when you're doing dishes, this is your view. And that is not a terrible view. Beautiful view with the cedar trees, mostly cedar at this point. We have the drop pendant lighting here and over the breakfast nook. And once again, all of this storage space. So I'm going to back out of the kitchen. And then the little breakfast nook has a small round table uh, for four. And it looks like it may, does it, I don't know if this opens or not. It may open. But this is the view from the breakfast nook. And then back towards the living room. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and take you out on the first deck. It's a wood deck. This is covered because that up there is the deck that's off the master suite. And again, outside they did the full electrical. There's also water. They did a really thoughtful job. I'm gonna walk the deck first before showing you the view. Left goes here, down to a connecting stairway down to the side of the house. That's a generator. And this whole side of the house is actually stairs that will come all the way down to the fence bottom part of the lot down below. These stairs go up to the master suite deck. We're going to continue this way. So for orientation, there's the door that we came through. And then the rest of the deck here. I want to take a moment here to just pause and pan around so that you can listen to the neighborhood as the snow crunches underfoot on my boots and get kind of a feel for what the view is like. And that's the house next door right there. So it's still pretty, pretty private and well screened by all of the trees. Oh, the lot will go halfway down between this house and that next one. So quite a good bit of privacy and space. All right, let's go back in. Scuffing the ice and snow off of my shoes. So this area up above has been um, set with electrical. So if you wanted to, you could put a flat screen TV up there. And of course, all these beautiful beams and the tongue and groove ceilings are fully exposed um, to add to that little bit of that rustic Americana look. As we come through to the living room, we have this adorable inset window seat here. That's the view towards the entry. Fireplace number two. And that door there goes out as well onto that back balcony. Look what they did here with the windows. How beautifully they went in and reframed those. That's just gorgeous. Track lighting in here ceiling fan, high, high, high ceilings. The volume and light and air in here is just fantastic. And because you really don't have neighbors around you, you're not gonna need curtains unless you really want them, which means that you can have this view all the time. Up above, before we go upstairs, just wanted to show that that whole loft area is open on this side as well. So nothing is blocking off the flow of light or air. And yes, this property does have central heat. Okay, back we are in the entry and we're gonna go up the stairs. So 
So up at the top of the stairs, there's this little bit of a catwalk. So it's open to the formal living room here. It's open here, of course, to the stairway. And as you come along, you're in this open loft area. And again, we've got the big high ceilings. This is the railing that overlooks the entryway. To this side, we have bedroom number two. We have the master there and we have the access to the garage there. I'm going to go ahead and take us this way. Look at those great windows. Lots and lots of windows. This is bedroom number two. Bedroom number two has, right now, two beds in it and another one of the window seats. This bedroom faces the front of the house. So through the window here, that is the street and my car in the driveway. This room is interesting because it has closet space here, it has an ensuite bath, and that ladder goes all the way up to another little loft area. It's not necessarily there for um, sleeping, it's just a cute little over space, and unfortunately I'm wearing the wrong shoes to climb that ladder space, but it's going to um, in terms of volume, it's going to be the same depth as the bathroom. So just a little nook. And once again, the baths are on the sensors. This is a three quarter bath. It too has the seam stall shower with the rain shower head as well as the handheld. And this one for privacy has a pocket door. So we have this little pocket door right here. Back out to the loft. Before we go to the master, I thought we might as well take a look at the garage. You had asked if the garage is deep enough for a boat, and I'm going to say probably not. It's definitely a good depth for um, cars, obviously. It's very clean. There's a pull down there for more attic storage up above, but that's as far as it goes. So I think the only way you would get boat storage in here is maybe if you brought the trailer in on the diagonal and even then it depends on the size of the boat that you would think of as well. On the far wall there um, is the panel for the Generac which is the generator for the house and it looks like they've got a couple pieces or boxes I should say of additional flooring and miscellaneous items here as well. So nice and clean, typical cracks in the floor that you would expect to see in any garage. So when you come in through the garage, you're actually coming in the door to the second story to the loft. Okay, this is the master suite. The master suite has double door entry. And because of that beautiful central fireplace downstairs, the master suite has its own fireplace here. That's definitely a king-sized bed with room to spare. And this bedroom also has the high ceilings. I had mentioned that the master suite has its own decking. So once again, exterior lighting, electrical and water up here on this deck. That's the roof line to the living room. The downstairs deck is right below us. 
and this just wraps around a little bit to the far side here and again this is the view from the master suite deck you can see the top of the house that's on the lot below you that's it now when I mentioned that there's water and electrical you have the inside outdoor lights you have electrical and you have water so maybe if you wanted to put a hot tub or something out here on this deck as opposed to the lower deck I can't think of any reason why you couldn't okay just trying to make sure that I have that door securely locked all right back through to the master suite you're going to see that this has a wraparound to the bath and again, this part of this area is on the photoelectric. First things first, near and dear to everybody's heart is closet space in the master. It is a walk-in closet. It's not a ginormous walk-in closet, but it's definitely a walk-in closet. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paste it off for the depth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, call it eight and a half to the doors. Master bath. The master bath also has the built in storage here for your towels, etc., and so forth. Your toilet. Another seamless shower. This one is set into the wall, but it also has the rain shower head as well as the handheld. Of course, you've got this beautiful custom bathtub here that overlooks the deck and the views, nice and private. And then you have the his and her sinks. Complete with slide out storage. So very nicely done. Another pocket door, uh, by the way, just for the toilet there. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I would tell you about this house if you were here in person. Uh, okay, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that the fireplaces do have gas assist keys next to them. This one is set up for gas log, okay? You can have it converted back to a wood fart burning fireplace if you so desire. Personally, I think that all of this tongue and groove and this volume in all the ceilings is pretty dramatic. And everybody loves that feel. And personally, I can't get over how nice the views are from pretty much every window. The level entry um, from the, the garage, the level parking means that in snow and ice, it's very manageable. And then having this little downstairs courtyard grotto style entry is fairly romantic. I am seeing some sprinkler heads. So there um, is probably irrigation there for the winter time. And that is pretty much it. Try that again. I turned my phone and it turned everything off. Anyway, I hope that this has been of help to you and um, any other questions that come up about this property, if, if I need to clarify something for you, I've walked the house, this is now the fourth time I've walked this house, uh, broker tour, showing it to people and now doing it on video for you, so I'm pretty sure that if you've got a question, if I don't know the immediate answer for it, I know how to get it. I hope you're having a great day and I look forward to speaking with you and meeting you both very, very soon in person. Bye for now.